So, what I've got here is my Harbor Freight uh, 90 amp welder, and I've done the modifications of turning it into a DC welder, as well as putting on a pretty good sized cap. I also uh, have a much larger fan in the back of it, uh, 110 CFM, I think is the flow rate. So, uh, how's this thing work? Well, this is a crappy weld, and don't worry, I know it is. It's been uh, about 15 years since I've done any welding. And uh, these, I think these are close to uh, a little over a quarter inch thick pieces of steel. And I just did the surface here. So yeah, it, it's pretty crappy. But you can see there's very little beading. And uh, the actual metal from the weld looks good. This is the... Um, 0.030 um, Harbor Freight uh, wire, which is pretty crappy. And hang on a second, I'm going to throw this in the vise and crank it down a bit. There we go. And you can see the weld is above the, the clamps. And I was shocked the first time I did this, so. There you go. Let's try this again. Uh, like I say, I was a little shocked at the first time that I, I ran this real simple bead and then I started pounding on the thing. And uh, wow, what a difference. What a difference. Amazing what uh, turning this thing into a, a DC welder and uh, just using a Harbor Freight crappy wire feed is doing. Uh, I'm really surprised. And that was on max power and feed was about 7, 7.3 right in there. So very pleased with how strong this is and uh, how well this, this welder is working now. It's definitely worth the, the so $30 or so to get it upgraded. And uh, go check out the mod. Uh, the link is below. And see if uh, see if you think it's worth it. I think it is.